Hello everyone, in this video we'll learn how to create this cartoonistic tree. This is a low polygon tree, so it can be mostly used for any kind of gaming backgrounds or for any other animation projects. Kindly note that I'm using Maya 2017, so some of the options and tools might be slightly different. So for creating the tree, I'm going to use a tool called the CV tool. So you can find the CV tool by going to Create menu, Curve tools, and CV curve tool. If you're using an older version of Maya, you can find the same tool somewhere here. I'm going to the Tools options, and here we can change the types of degree that we want to have for our curve. By default, it is set to Q, that is 3. I'm going to change it to linear, that is 1, so that I will get more sharp lines. I'm going to go to the side view and I will make sure that my grid snap is on. So I'm going to draw every, every point based on the grid. So I'll just start from here, one here, and then we're going to draw over here. So this will be the trunk of the tree. And then I'm going out and then I'll go a little bit inside more than this area. So somewhere here. And then I'll come out, but this time it'll be inside this. Okay. And then again inside here. Okay. And then one, point, one or two points inside here. So one, two, actually one, three. That's okay. We can just do that roughly around here and here. I think I'll just finish with one more. This last one. So here then come out a couple of steps and then finish up so depending on how much how many different branches you want you can choose them okay and if you find any small differences you can also change after creation so I think I'll just push all these things a little bit down yeah something like that so now we will revolve this curve 360 degrees to make the surface. For that, I'll have to go to surfaces. Now, sometimes you, if you don't find these menu items, you can also uh, make sure that you go here and choose modeling. So if you're in animation or something like that, you cannot find the surfaces tool. So we'll just go to modeling, and then surfaces, and there you can choose revolve. Let's go to options. Let's reset everything. And I just want to add more divisions, like segments. So by default, it's 8. I'm making it 12. OK. And I don't want to have nerve surface. I want to create a polygon surface. So I'll choose polygons here. And in the polygon creation method, we can choose control points. So we'll get exactly a surface based on the control points that we have created for these curve. Once that is done, let's click Revolve. So that's our tree. When it's getting created, it looks all black in color. That is because of the direction of the normals. We'll change that. And before that, just keep in mind, because we've created the surface based on this curve, the surface is still editable by the curve. So let's see how that works. I'll go here and press 4 to get the wireframe mode. And I just want to select the curve. So let me just go ahead and select the curve. And you can see that the entire surface turned into a pink color so that means it's still getting affected by this curve I'll go ahead and choose control vertex I can select these control vertices both of them I'm gonna turn off my grid snap and now I will just move as you can see that when I modify this the, the surface also gets affected so that means it's still connected to this curve okay next step let's change the color of this that means reverse the direction of the normals by selecting the object and going to Mesh Display and choose Reverse. So click on that. Now we get our perfect color. Great. So that's our tree. So now let me just give a little bit of color to render it out. I'll go ahead and right click and choose Assign Favorite Materials. I'm going to choose Lambert. OK, so we'll have Lambert 2 here. If I right click and choose here, I should be able to find Lambert 2. I can give a name for this. I'll call this tree. Okay. And in the color, I'm going to apply a ramp. So I'll go to the options and choose ramp. 
So by default, ramp has got just white and black. So let's change that color to greenish. So I'll just select the side and I will choose some lighter green. So something like that. Okay. And the other side, I'll apply a bit darker green. You can even pick it from here. Now you can see that uh, we've made uh, changes in the color, but it does not show here. So that's because we are still in the shaded mode. Let's press six key to get shaded mode with texture. So that's the texture that we have applied. Now you can see that it's actually applying from side by side in every single uh, face that we have. So let me just go back here. I can change this type from V ramp to a U ramp. There you go. So now you can see that the upper area of these faces have got the darker color and the lower area has the brighter color. So let's just, let me just try to bring this closer. Okay, that shows a bit sharpness there. Uh, let's just change this from linear to smooth. Okay, that looks nice. And I just want to add a small darker color at the edge. So I'll just add a little bit of uh, darker color at the edge. I hope it looks nice. Let's just go ahead and render it to see how it looks. So that's our simple cartonic tree. So I'll make some duplicates here. Control D and move it a little away. Then make some duplicates. Shift to D. So just one last step that is missing. I'll change the color of this bottom to something like brownish color so that it looks more like a tree trunk. I'll just right click favorite materials and choose Lambert. This will be trunk. I'll change the color to brown. I'll pick up something like brown here. Yes. So let me just delete the, all these duplicates and I can just make the duplicate once again. Control D. Move it away. Press Shift D, 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 D. So now I'll go ahead and render once again. This concludes this video on creating low polygon trees. Thank you for watching my tutorial. If you like them, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more videos like this.